See, standard deviation is a very, very important concept. That is because it is a measure of, it's an absolute measure of a dispersion. We will be learning in this session to calculate standard deviation for ungrouped data as well as for uh, uh, grouped data. Let us take a very simple example. Um, let us assume that uh, if the xi values are, uh, let's say, uh, 10, uh, uh, 15, 10, 15, uh, 20, or 30, uh, 40, 50, etc. So these are the xi values. Now we want to find out what is the standard deviation. Now, uh, in order to calculate standard deviation, we will, a uh, standard deviation is first of all denoted as sigma. Now, sigma is calculated as, uh, uh, the simplest formula is summation of all the values from uh, 1 to n uh, xi, value, x, xi square minus summation of all the xi square, okay, divided by number of observations and this whole thing is divided by the n minus 1 and find the root of that. This is the uh, formula for calculating standard deviation. Now, um, so the easiest now, for example, this total we know that it is, uh, uh, this is equal to 165. Now this 165 um, is, that is this value. We got this value, okay? Now we need to find, um, xi square so therefore let us find out xi square so 10 into 10 this is let's write here 100 this is will be 225 this is equal to 400 uh, this is equal to 900 1600 and this is 2500 very good okay so this is equal to now this is uh, 5725 so we got that value also now it is a matter of just applying this so therefore, we got this value and we know n, n is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So therefore, let us replace these values. So therefore, what we are going to do is um, 5, 7, 2, 5 minus 165 square, okay, divided by n is 6, divided by n minus 1 will be 5. Find the root of that. That is what it is going to be. So therefore, now let me create a little space here. So therefore, this is equal to uh, 5, 7, 2, 5 minus 5, 4, 4, 5 uh, divided by 5. Okay. So therefore, um, this is equal to, uh, you will get a value of root of to it, uh, root of 56 okay root of 56 so you know that root of 56 is equal to 7.48 so therefore the standard deviation of this particular distribution is equal to 7.48 okay so this is how we calculate standard deviation for uh, an ungrouped data so we should take up more and more examples uh, and find out, learn to find the standard deviation. Now, these numbers, it can be, you know, uh, uh, any xi value which you observe. So, let me give you a, a small exercise. You, you are encouraged to calculate standard deviation of uh, the following distribution. Assume these are the, uh, you know, if the number of flowers that are formed uh, in a particular species of roses. So this is, let's say that in one type of plant you find five flowers, another you find nine flowers, another you find seven flowers, uh, 11 flowers. In another type of plants, let's say 13 flowers, etc. you find. Calculate the standard deviation of this particular distribution. So this is going to be a simple small exercise for all of you to work out and to ensure that you have understood this concept of standard deviation.